The planet Medusa, 1C, is undergoing a strange transformation. And by that I mean, the place is fucked. In all aspects and all understandings of the word, including the sexual one, Medusa 1C is fucked. If you are there, you are also sharing its fate. And this is where our story starts. And on welcome viewer to... Teleglitch. With me that 3OS, and it's possibly one of the last uh, projects on the channel, and that is because of the music that I'm using. It's the property of THQ, and THQ is known for the fuck YouTube policy, let's ban everything. But without good music, I don't really feel like doing anything for the channel, so it's really do or die. Fear not, viewer, should my fate on YouTube be... ...decided with this video, I will just move to Twitch or whatever else. Without further ado, let's start a new game of Teleglitch, skipping the tutorial completely. And here is some backstory for you. You can pause. Oh, then again, I can read it for you. Because you obviously cannot read. We were doing some random shit. And then something came through from the other side of our teleport gates. At first we thought it was a minor teleglitch, but it quickly turned into a nightmare. The facility AI became aggressive and the military robots turned on us. The space of the complex started morphing, warping. Rooms and hallways would randomly reorganize themselves as if it was a randomly generated map game. Which it is. I decided to seal myself in here and wait for help. But, it wouldn't be a game if the help actually arrived. So my mission is to get through all of this 10 level bullshit and then teleport myself back to Earth. Which will not happen, the game is fucking brutal. I didn't have time to grab... Really... It says... I enabled the option to start with random starting, yeah? And we got the short straw, the, the fucking shortest straw of them all. Normally you get a gun of some sorts, or the ability to run faster. We have a fucking credit card, which can zap people. And I can zap already because I'm not going to use this shit. Be gone. Uh, Teleglitch is a... Uh, well, exactly what you can see on the screen. I'm this 3 pixel green guy, and my ongoing mission is to not die. I have a piece of chocolate, some fucking explosive, and an empty can. I also used to have a credit card, but fuck that shit. My hit points are at 100 out of 100. It will not last long. And this black gooey substance is death. I will let you read these, because I'm not really interested in them too much. If you like plot in games such as Doom, you are fucking retarded. So these are our enemies in the first level. They aren't very challenging, but since I only have a knife, actually this one over here is super fucking challenging. These two brownish ones, the, the black people, they, they hit you for 10. That's so racist! Well, actually it's racist towards white people, implying that darker skin makes you hit for more. And this little trick that I'm using right now is... ...is my response to the game giving me a fucking credit card to defend myself with. Enemies couldn't get into that tiny hole. The woman wasn't too used, used up yet, so her holes were tight. And thusly, enemy monsters of huge proportions could not enter and penetrate my asshole just yet. It's only possible on the first level. That kind of bullshit. Militech Corporation owns fucking everything. Story of every single Lost on some planet and Holocaust happens game. Every one of them. What's this one? Secret walls are present. Yes, I'm going to cover that as soon as we find one. There surely is a pattern to their movement and shit like that. Oh, we found a shotgun, that's nice. 
I'm not going to use it, which may sound fucking ridiculous as I was just complaining about the credit card. But the thing is, I have another weapon actually. The thing is, I wish to obtain a different weapon so that I have ammo for a different weapon. Starting with a fucking, whatchamacallit, credit card just gives you some uh, batteries. Because it's an electrical zapping credit card and no useful weapon in the game uses batteries. So in that regard, we really started with the worst thing possible. Now out of the two weapons that they have, the shotgun and the AGL, which shoots uh, grenades actually, the AGL is much more, is worth much more, in the sense that the AGL can one-shot some brutal enemies, whereas the shotgun cannot. That will come... That will be important as soon as I find a secret area, because the way you access secret areas is by blowing up walls. And the reason I mentioned these two weapons is that uh, ammo is extremely fucking scarce in this game. And if you are to use ammo to blow up the secret walls, never use explosives by the way, you should use the ammo of a weapon that will serve you less. I mean the shotgun is absolutely brutal in the first few levels, but in the first few levels you don't want to be using your guns at all. And that's a secret wall, yes. You can see it by the slight line of vision. Why did it open? Okay, it was me. Enemies can open doors, yes. N unlike Velociraptors. You can see it by the slight glimpse of vision and uh, just basically shoot this shit. And here is a secret area with a can gun inside, which is not very useful, but uh, there was an option of finding something useful. Once again, the black people, I mean uh, the warp, instantly kills you. And uh, yes, I've decided to be pseudo-racist in my in my last possible series, because what the hell? Overly sensitive people towards the word black extremely annoy me. And that's why I will use every opportunity I have to bash on them. I'm not racist though, I hate everyone equally. And this is the end of the level, I don't want to be here just yet. Because there is uh, one more room that I need to find before leaving this place. A very, very crucial room indeed. So after we stab these guys some more... I prefer the fucking amoebas to these zombies. This is the room. It has canned meat in it. And the way HP works is that normal healing items such as... Uh, well, chocolate isn't a normal healing item. It, it is unique. You will never again find the chocolate in this entire fucking game. But uh, normal healing items such as medkits only heal you to 100. Canned meat can heal you above that. Up to 150. And health is an extremely valuable resource. Well, everything is an extremely valuable resource in this fucking game. Uh, so you want to... You really want to explore the levels as much as possible. Because they only get harder from, from here on now. Like this, this is the, the easiest thing in the entire game. It will never get easier than this. More canned meat, okay. When you eat canned meat, you receive empty cans. Yes, to, to our great surprise. Oh, I'm sure there is a secret over here, but no. And canned, and the empty cans you can turn into plate, if you have six of them. And plates you can turn into life. No, actually armor, but uh, it equals life once enemies start using fucking miniguns. Which, uh, oh that's the explanation of the black people. I mean, ah, the warp. It kills you. Like these, these basic enemies, they only hit you for two. They attack of course 70 times per second. Uh, but only attack you for two damage. And there are those brown shits that attack you for 10, 
And then there are, then there will be different stuff like uh, pistols that hit you for 40 damage, mini guns that hit you for 40 damage, 80 times a second, and so forth. And we can now leave to the second level. Glory awaits. And by glory I mean death. But we've beaten 10% of the game viewer. I believe there are 10 levels. In any case. And this uh, grey circle is a stash. You always want to loot all of them. Okay, let's see. To the right there is a teleport to the plankton farm. To the left there is a teleport to the mili military biology sector. So which one is more hazardous do you think? The abandoned plankton farm or a military biology sector? Mm, let's go to the tougher one. Also, close your eyes for a second or two. Okay, you can open them. This fucking teleportation animation gives you will give you a fucking seizure. The situation is much worse than I expected. No, no it's not. And we are going to fucking mutate it. Soldiers sector that uh, is instantly and instantly more dangerous. Also, I should have warned you about this seizure again. Well, now you know though. Well, you will get a seizure. That's not a. Eh, uh, this could be a. I don't think it's a secret, but shotgun bullets aren't super useful. No, it's not a secret. They are useful, but not overly so. And we have a revolver, which is, in my opinion, the worst weapon in the game. Because you get, like, fucking six bullets for it, uh, for the duration of the of the game. Then again, I only ever reached level five, and then I die. The revolver is stronger than a regular pistol. Well, what the fuck am I, like, it's obvious. But uh, ammunition for it is super scarce. Military biology ethics. There are none. Okay, we have a big fuck already. Again. I want to... Uh, fuck! And I missed too. The AGL instantly kills the... The big spidery shit, which hits you for 10. Then again, it appears to be still alive. Maybe I missed twice. Or maybe there were two of them. And the shotgun does not. The shotgun mildly fucking annoys it. The shotgun is useful in other places, such as uh, destroying walls. That's it. <laughs> no, no, there are some enemies that you would re that I recommend taking out with a shotgun. And we probably will fucking meet them in... Now. <laughs> Stabity, stab, stab, stab. I lost too many hit points to that brown guy. Well, monstrosity. Can I be racist towards mutants? Like, it's not a regular mutant, it's a brown one. Why do you mention that? Is it somehow, somewhat worse? Somehow worse? Well, it deals more damage. Racist! Continuing on. Always try to keep your le weapons reloaded. The game doesn't use uh, actual realistic clips me clip mechanics. So if you have one bullet in a clip and you reload, that one bullet just goes to the pool. It's not wasted. As it is in some games such as uh, DayZ and whatnot. The, the simulator one. And you can lure the melee ones into the warp. Which you should do whenever you can. Because it saves you bullets. And I should have dodged it better. I just want to lure more of them. Is it a secret? Yes it is. Okay. They aren't very smart. They make up for it though by fucking hitting me for 10. Also, it's dangerous to even pick this shit that is next to the warp.
but always try to do that. Okay, shotgun, open the passage for me, please. And give me this delicious fucking bear trap. Was there another secret? Nay. And I wasted two bullets which are infinitely fucking val uh, valued. No, priced. Okay, I need to open this. A blast door. Also fucking neat. That's exactly the type of a game this is. 70 enemies just fucking crouched around the bush. Waiting for you to pop your head out. Okay, I explored this and I will be back here. So if there are more secrets, it doesn't really matter. I only have one area to explore, which is behind these red doors. And there are some shells over there. Which is good because I do need shells. Poison Gardens. Note to anybody who is interested. And if the room smells to you like a trap, congratulations, you have more IQ than a fucking rock. President Rock. You can actually lure them, it's, it's not really a problem. You just shouldn't be using ammunition and these guys hit for 10, so you shouldn't be using melee either unless you are super proficient with it. I'm not. Okay. We opened the blast doors. There were more monsters, like many more. Believe me, the, the dust room was fucking death. Fucking fucking fuck, of course. Just to emphasize on how uh, poor my vocabulary is, and repetitive, of course. So, since the enemies don't really drop loot too often, you shouldn't worry too much about the ones you didn't kill. But at the same time, there is the chance of them dropping loot, so, uh, you know, do try. But don't overdo it, ever. Hardware is super important, we have another med kit, which is nice, there are some shells over here. And the game is paused when you use the map, so there is that. I just want to lure more of them at once. Me doing maneuvers just to kill three of them. It's not really super uh, efficient. I will pick it because I fear that equipment might, might vanish if you lose sight of it. The teleport is, is, one of, is in one of the side areas, like the red doors to the sides. It's not in this area, so this area I will explore as first. Lure all the shits away, you know, the usual. Have the glory of chaos consume their souls and bodies. Weak-minded fools such as they are. I believe that might be a secret. Just imagine this fucking badass running through a ruined, abandoned, zombie and mutant infested uh, hell that is this base and he's just running through everything with a sm smirk on his face because he knows he will just fucking load them into that there. Like, come on this way, motherfuckers! What have been hilarious if I missed and actually went into the warp myself, wouldn't it? Glorious. Not too close or murder will happen. Okay, I have another plate which I can now turn into armor. 50 out of 100 armor. It really will improve my survivability. Now monsters will not hit me for 10. I don't know what the values will be, but they will be lower.
I have some more RDX 500 250 which I can turn into RDX 500 and RDX 500 I can turn into a lot of stuff well not right now because I only have a nail bomb I can also build an AGL 3 which will shoot three grenades instead of one I advise against it for the simple reason that the grenades one shot tough enemies okay this this motherfucker is uh, the reason why shotgun is not the worst thing in the world he cannot be killed with the uh, with the grenades alone. And I believe he might be faking. They sometimes do that. No. The thing is, on the enemies that the grenades are useful against, so not the one we just faced, uh, it one-shots them. And the AGL-3 just makes it fire three rounds instead of one. Effectively, dividing your uh, amount of possible shots by three. It's unacceptable. I mean, it's useful against swarms as well, and this is the teleporter. The patterns of rooms, like the, the... I'll get to that in just a second. You don't want to be upgrading the AGO, unless your aim is shit. In which case, you will not beat the game. And the rooms, like in uh, Bethesda games, they repeat themselves, as in... Like this, this fucking globe over here, or this this staircase over here that goes uh, like one of those snake games in spirals, not in spirals really. Just those blocky rectangle patterns. The rooms repeat themselves. Like this, this huge hallway, it repeats itself, and it's present in every level two of the military bunker, which is of course easier than the plankton, what you call it. However, they are randomly placed, that's the thing. It's semi-random generated. There is always the canned food room in the first level. You will most likely find the shotgun over there as well. Etc, etc. They will just be in different positions and there will be maybe different types of enemies. That's a canned meat thingy. Is it the last room I... No, there is one... Uh more branch that I haven't explored yet. So I'll grab you. I'll read this for you viewers. And I will flee because I don't give a fuck about these guys. And their pattern is somewhat difficult for me. They randomly sprint occasionally. They have this outburst of speed that I'm not exactly sure how to deal with effectively just yet. I have explored the glow. God damn it, really? Mm. Ex as long as it's not a dead end. Well, even if it is, we are fine, viewer. Okay, come then to your death. The warp awaits thee. Have I read this one? I think I have. They dropped fuck all, and thusly me fighting them would have been a silly idea. I'm at 150 hit points. Out of 100, that's the maximum. You cannot go anything above that. And you can only get to 150 using canned meat. All the other health items just get you to 100. I may have mentioned that already. Also a very important thing actually that I forgot to do so far is to... If, you're, if you just randomly scroll your mouse wheel sometimes, I know I do, uh, you might want to put some green shit between your weapons and your red shit, which are explosives, and your blue shit, which are healing items. Because you can just randomly use it and you will regret it fucking instantly. Everything is too valuable to lose in this game. Cover your eyes. I am going to go through facility support systems next to make sure that I don't die because of a random life support protocol failure. I want to check on the manual emergency mode and make sure things will remain stable even if there is a crazy AI around. Our accuracy isn't great. Then again we... Alright, because it counts the wall shots as well. Never mind that. 
Tisha! Should have warned you, I'm pressing it. Again, I'm sorry. Facility life support is controlled. Is recycled by gen genetically modified plants and algae. And people just basically eat plankton exclusively in the future. Uh, all meat and uh, vegetables that we commonly know are are uh, delic delicacies in the future. How did I fucking miss so many times? He hits for 10 still. What the shit? The armor is useless. And this is the level where... Uh... Well, it didn't happen yet. At this level and onward from now on, some of the pipes will randomly spew or puke out whatever. Vomit like 60 enemies at you. There is a detector that you can build in order to uh, protect yourself from that by detecting where they are. Sometimes they are un unavoidable though. And uh, our luck, which is shit because we received a credit card, is shittier still because I didn't get the parts required to actually make one of such detectors. Like this. No, that's not a pipe. And it's one of the... Yeah. God damn it. The thing he's throwing at me are... God damn it. Yeah, he was faking it. I think it stays in the info somewhere. Uh, that's the guy. Giant zombie. He throws fake metal grenades that are used for training and these hit you for that. Because fuck you. That's why. Because why the fuck not, right? 10 damage, it's like, whatever. God damn it, really? Another one? He survived the fucking explosive. And he's aiming like a motherfucker. He's probably putting his hand sideways before throwing these fake grenades. Just a fucking nail box. And all I got is a meat trap, which in my opinion is one of the worst items in the... Then again, like... It's not one of the pipes, but no. Should I? I should use this first. And then I can't meet. Another secret, eh? If it will be something worthwhile, it will almost be okay for me to lose that much health. Is it something worthwhile? It is. It truly is. It's a heavy rifle. Oh! Oh! Oh, uh, that's one of the pipes that I've mentioned before. The pipes of fucking doom and destruction. How many are there? How many did it get through? Okay. I managed to lose a lot of them. So this entire area over there is crawling with a million enemies, okay. Heavy rifle is one of the items you can actually start the game with. Now, you you get a you get a shit version of a heavy rifle, uh, which isn't really suited for late game because it only has one bullet in the clip, and uh, unlike this one which has eight. The thing, however, is that uh, you get like forty projectiles, bullets for it. Really, another one, really. Shouldn't have even investigated, but if I don't investigate, I will not find uh, valuables that could change death into life. In this case, however, it's changing it fucking vice versa.
I've been damaged myself as well. That's why on nail guns and fucking can can weapons, not nail guns, nail bombs and can guns, they are shit. They are like your last, last resort weapon. They really didn't have anything else to use over here. Like using a revolver, 12, sh 18 shots total. Like the revolver is shit, yes, but uh, I'd rather waste, waste its worthless bullets upon something heavier than this. And that's... That's when the game starts being shit. Because these are the guys with guns. Not these two, no. These yellow guys over here. Well, orange-ish, whatever. And uh, guns would take like half of my hit points at this point. Because I have no armor. Due to exploding myself with a fucking nail bomb. I need to open this shit too. That's amazing, isn't it? Public message concerning nail guns. They aren't good. Gee, thanks man. It hit me like 60 times, didn't it? Wow, my aim is shit. I've been severely demoralized though, in my defense. No need to check the air purification, there was a zombie inside of it. And as you know from before, Opening these fucking things spawns a million enemies. But unlike the previous one, the enemies spawn a bit further away from you, so you are lulled into a se false sense of security. I wish I had the fucking detector of enemies inside pipes. It's an extremely useful item. And we were truly, severely fucked by the RNG twice. Uh, Item-wise, I'm not even counting the... The bullshit rooms of death. And 60 enemies crouching behind the rock. I probably want the shotgun over here. These tight corridors, if they have one of the super heavy guys, I fully expected one to be just here. It's tough. And if you have the option to uh, zoom in, it's fucking impossible. Whoever thought of that zoom in option, fuck you, man. There are some shells over here. That went swimmingly. Microchip is exactly the item I need. I need to drop something. I will drop the nail box because I will never fucking use it. Microchip! It's used to build detectors. And if I had this fucking item before, I would have armor and like 60 hit points more at this point. You can get detectors much sooner than we did. A uh, microchip starter. On the previous level, that is. Another one. Okay, game. I would say I might have misjudged you, but no. Drop this shit, I will never use the can gun. Health is too, too fucking uh, pre precious to be using can guns. Nail guns, you can sometimes avoid the damage. If you are fast enough and, like, use obstacles. I just failed to do that. Can guns always damage you. And that, kind viewer, is shit. I can build, build another detector, of course it's worthless, you shouldn't do that. 
And if I find another microchip, I will be able to build a teleport. And teleports are extremely precious items. And one of the reasons why I'm not using the medkits just yet. Another reason is the chocolate, which I want to use as quickly as possible because chocolate is a unique item. I will never again find one. So it's basically wasting my inventory slot. The medkits can be used to build a teleporter. And teleporters are basically uh, a life. If you die and you have a teleporter in your inventory, you get another chance. I fucking love this music. And I'm aware that my voice is ruining everything, but it is not a long play with music. It's a let's complain. As you can see, the pistol isn't a really good item. But, eh, it does its, it does its job. Fucking hell, really? I have to destroy like 60 walls to get here. God damn it! Worthless shotguns. What is this? Only nail boxes? Really? What if I drop this? Nail boxes. Oh! No, no it's nothing, I just wasted a bullet. Fucking useless nail boxes. Oh right, canned meat. Uh, drop the heavy rifle for like a split second. Use this and then use the canned meat. And reload the rifle. We will need the rifle a lot. And it's a terrible fucking shame that I received the credit card as the starting item. <sighs> the first time I played I received the one shot hunting rifle as the starting item. Once I got the heavy rifle drop, it was glorious. I had 40 almost 50 bullets of the of a super strong weapon and the circle you can see right now is uh, is a warning about the the pipe all right it's a nail box like that shit if i had this item if i had the detector sooner i would have been warned about the other pipes as well Unfortunately, sometimes the pipes are right in your way. You cannot bypass them. Or, worse yet, the pipes are not in the way of your exit, but they are in the way of loot. And then it's just a decision-making game. Do you want to die for your items? And that's another useful item that I can pick over here. I'll build that Panzer Faust. It's a useful item. Let's build the auto pistol so I have more inventory slots. Let's drop the empty can. Yes, it's heresy, I know. Actually, let's drop this and get the empty can back. Like, eventually I'll probably find another revolver. Doesn't matter. Don't open the doors on the left. Like, there could be a box, maybe. Super doubtful, seeing how many boxes were in the area already. But there definitely is a swarm of 60 enemies that will jump out as soon as you open the doors, or sooner still. What's this? I don't even know. Software security systems inaccessible. Security software error. Identifying impossible. Security software unexpected changes detected. Verifying. Security software removed. Shutting down terminal. Thanks, AI. That's not a secret, by the way. Yes, it's, it's misleading, I know. Close your eyes. I have to pass through necrotic tissue research department next. And yes, uh, dead soldiers programmed to kill. Blah, blah, blah. It's just as fucking bad as it sounds like. 
Major alert! Potentially dangerous reactivated units in the facility. A canned food storage in Sector 4 has been broken into with all the meat eaten and the place ransacked. This is where the game truly fucking starts. And also ends. Facility AI emergency. You want to have your heavy rifle equipped? Or at least the AGL. But I think the heavy... Like, I don't have that many bullets for the heavy rifle though. It's terrible. Before the roaming enemies were just some fucking cat-like amoebas, now the roaming enemies are equipped with assault rifles. Let me quickly uh, reorganize some of this shit. Oh, God damn it, really? I'm not very happy about this. And I can... Like, I'm not sure how many bullets they take. Apparently, two-ish, maybe three, from the heavy rifle. And now the music is actually working against me. Because I don't hear footsteps. Okay, pipe. Recreational garden number, whatever. I just want to ensure that no uh, soldiers will be coming in my... to plow my ass. God damn it, this game is fucking infinitely harder when you... when you have to actually commentate. Because I myself am talking over the footsteps as well. <laughs> okay, I need to drop something. But if I'm ambushed right now, I'll probably die. I'll drop you. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? Easy peasy, right? No, he actually... Motherfucker! He took more bullets than usually. Because fuck you, that's why. I mean, that's the game exit. Really? That's the end of the level. I'm temp tempted to just take it. MG large tube. I can turn it into a fully automatic armor piercing. Ah, fucking shit! Welcome to fucking Teleglitch. You die. Edition. More. Die. Much more. I expected this to happen. Any fucking second. And there is no sound. There was, maybe, but. Uh, music? Me? All of that. led to our demise. Our accuracy was shit. Uh, we killed not too many monsters. I expected to get further. But it was only my second playthrough. And in the third one, I will do much better.